Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of The Shadows of Mordor. Alright, when we left off, we were not looking at this guy, uh, Orthog rather, uh, Skull Collector. I put a death threat out on him a little bit ago, because I figured, you know, might as well test out how that works on the guy who has so many weaknesses. Takes away a lot of them, gives him a lot more strengths. Now I know. Um, also, like I said in the last episode, near the end credits, if y'all noticed that, uh, the layout of the uh, landscape has been a little changed a bit. A little bit. Oh, gonna take this guy too. Oh, geez. Okay, never mind. Gonna have to deal with the shield guy. There we go. And there we go. There we are. Perfect. And then I'll take this guy and do what I was going to do with this guy. There we go. Just gain a little intel on the identity of this guy. The Ogthrak Raid Leader. Okay. <laughs> Raid Leader Ogthrak, I guess. That's, that's a weird-ass name, and I'm pretty sure my tongue is going to be tied in a knot every time I try to say it. All right. Tying up a slave to be eaten by ghouls later. Well, that is disturbing. So I'll need to find out his weaknesses later. There we go. All right. All right. The uh, layout of the uh, <laughs> Sauron's army has changed quite a bit. Um, a lot of this uh, went around. Uh, apparently, Fulgrim got a poison weapon, which I don't remember him having last. He also, he has a fear of his rival, who is Ushbaka Hothead. So I figured we might as well get rid of Ushbaka, a hothead, who is right over here. So we'll be getting rid of him soon enough. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of other ones moved. I tried to get the uh, identities down as best I could, just to say I at least did that in the meantime. But uh, yeah, the only one I didn't get was that guy here. So yeah, we have all of these. Uh, who's this guy? Is this the guy who last killed me? I think this is the last... I think this is the last guy who killed me. I think. Or maybe this is an execution thing. Or... I don't know. I have no idea. He has an execution thing going. That's as far as I know. Alright. He's a humiliator, uh, hate of defeat, and vulnerable to stealth finishers. Although he is... He does have a fear of Karagors and ghouls, so... I could try and exploit that, depending on where he is. That sounds good to me. All right. Well, <laughs> gonna deal with Ushbaka Hothead first, who is somewhere around this way, I think. It's probably this way, considering the map markers in that direction. But I've been wrong before. I was about to say, if he's not in the cage, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't know what possessed me to think, oh, maybe it'll work this time. And then, no, it didn't. But it went that way, so there we go. Now we have to deal with the consequences that are all mine. All entirely mine. All right, upward we go. This direction, I think we just need to get around this little rocky formation here. There we are. Now we're in an internment camp, which is the stronghold of this area. Wow. That's kind of fucked up. There we go. That's, uh, that's what I was death for right for this guy, too, because I kind of want to see if I get an epic rune off of him. And it's too close. Fuck. Are you kidding me? I can't do it on close targets? I have to do it on far away ones? Alright, well, fuck that. Uh, I could do it on Fulgum. I kind of want to do it on Fulgum. Because we already did it on Uthu. Greater chance of Epic Rune and protected by gang. He has a lot of bottles on him. Holy fuck. No wonder he's drunk. Uh, I can barely suppress his need to hurt the l something living. Oh, that that's disturbing. He's still vulnerable to mounted beasts. Still damaged by combat finishers. And still has a fear of his rival. I can still exploit that. I can still exploit that. Although, now that it says he's vulnerable to mounted beasts, 
I'm surprised how he survived that uh, one encounter with a Karagor a while back. I have no idea. Anyway. And run away. There we go. Okay, let's get over here. There is some intel over in this direction, but I want to deal with this guy first. Uh, kill you. And there we go. <laughs> he turned backwards for that. That exact strike. That's funny to me. Okay. Um, down we go. Whoop, that was weird. Okay. There we go. And let's go get this intel on this guy. So we know his weaknesses now. He has one weird fucking face mask. Look at that. He's trying to instill the power of a rhino into his fucking head. Just look at that. Jesus. Okay. He's vulnerable to stealth finishers, mounted beasts, and has a fear of caracors. Alrighty. That is a exploitable. He also, he's already a gang leader too, so it's not like I can put a death threat out on him and get some extra stuff out of that. <sighs> Alright, so he is somewhere along that way. That should probably... Oh, there he is. There he is. Ushbaka. I can kill him with either stealth finishers or ranged attacks. I'm going to try and do a stealth finisher. Although that's going to be a little difficult, given that this is a stronghold. Oh, jeez. Okay. This is going to be fun. Alright, onward we go. Up and kill him real quick. There we go. Alright. Uh, this guy. Uh, nice try, though, but nice try. I'll give you points for effort. Alright, up we go. Oh, we can't go this way. Oh, we can go this way. Alright, I see how this goes. Up we go. Up we go. Okay. What do we got? Can I jump on this rope? That's the question. And the answer's probably no. Nope. Not at all. Fuck me. Alright, up we go. Oh, jeez. Those sounds are disturbing. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna have to go around. Oh, my gods. That is fucked up. I'm gonna pull him off. There we go. Can we get him over here? Come on, get over here, buddy. And yeah, there we go. No, that's not the problem. Is that I'm trying to kill this guy. There we go. ends your command. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty, good shit. Good shit, and now I can get out. All right. Whoop, up we go. Up, come on now. Climb up. There we go. Thank you, Italian. Jesus Christ. Up we go, and we're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We are outie. Re? That's not what I meant to say. Oh, I thought there was a... I thought that was a captain. Oh, there is another one. Krug. Krug. He's clumsy and vulnerable to almost anything I can throw at him. Huh. Well, since he's already here... Is there any benefit I can get out of fucking with him? I think there is. If I just time it correctly. Uh, maybe stealth kill. And there we go. <laughs> uh, I figured I might as well because I was that close. Alright. Choking horror. Oh. Terrify more than two orcs on a brutalized kill. Okay. Alrighty. That sounds good to me. Oh, we got an intel guy over there. Unfortunately, I don't have any more need for intel. At least not right now. Perfect. Now we escaped quick and clean. Ish. 
And you're dead. There we go. Alright. Yeah, for now. You'll be dead soon enough, believe me. Alright, let's look at how the map is now. Oh, we cleaned it out pretty good. We got Rug. What was his weaknesses again? Yeah, stealth finishers, combat finishers, clumsy, and mounted beasts. Okay. And who was the other one we killed? Uh, yeah, it was Hothead. It was Hothead over here. Yeah. Firebrains. That's who it is. That's what it is. Okay. All right. Mog the Handsome is still alive, which is weird because I could have sworn I killed him. Didn't I kill him? No. No, I didn't. Okay, I need to find him next. And he's all the way across the map. Holy fuck. Jesus. Howard Christ. Okay. That'll have to be done soon. Oh, this execution's nearby. Book Book the Merciful. Made the execution to weaken Sauron's army. That might be difficult to do a stealth venture on him, but I could do that. Let's just look at the stuff I earned. They are all dagger runes. Choking Horror, uh... Or Choking Horror, rather. Uh, Harbinger of Doom. Uh, I was getting the inflection wrong on the other one. Uh, 52 chance to recover 50 health for each drain from above or brand from above. Hmm. Don't do brands or drain that often. At least not from above, so that's kind of worthless to me. This one is not useful enough for me to replace the other runes. So I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone and break that down. Okay. Oh, I just noticed I have a full bar for uh, Urphael. That's nice. Alright. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it usually is. Uh, we got two of these. We got this one over here, which is a duel between Akoth and Orthog. I kind of want to do this one first. Kind of want to. Then this one's closer, though. So, let's do the execution first. Because that one's closer. And this way. Whee! Alright. And let's just kill this guy. Hello! And goodbye. Yeah! That was brutal. Alright. That was fucking metal. Alright, let's go this way. A little bit farther now. Just keeping an eye on the time. So I have very little of it. Whoa. What the fuck did I just step on? Did I just step on a big ass spider? Is that what I just did? And I didn't mean to. Oops. Alright. Well, <laughs> eventually it was going to die anyway. Not by me, then by these fucks. Okay. Whatever made him should be hunted down and killed. Uh the not sure who you're talking about, but if it's about me, then you should kill your own people. All of them. Every single one of them. Alright. Let's uh, do the execution now. With a guy with a power level of 7. It's not bad. It's not great. You got the Berserker. Why do they still do arm? Enjoy a good execution. Why do they leave the people who are getting executed still armed? That, that seems stupid to me. They can easily just draw their weapons, and if they're, you know, agile enough, avoid an attack, and then go after you. It's like you're just shooting yourself in the foot here. Okay, but, oh, that's not gonna work at all. Let's go back down. Alright. Alright. And stealth kill. Oh, maybe. Yep, there we go. And you're dead. You are dead. Booyah. <laughs> Execution resolved. He died. For the finale. Ah, failed to execute his prisoners. Any of them, really. I caught him before he killed even one. Which is... Yay, I guess. <laughs> they were Uruk, so it wouldn't have mattered if he killed them anyway. Or at least to me. Alright. I'll take this. Thank you. And they're all running away. And another Harbinger of Doom Room. When are they going to learn I don't want these? Is, is, is that so hard? It's 
It's hard to understand. I hit the wrong button and need to go to the right one. There we go. Okay. Uh, get rid of that. There we go. Good stuff. My eye is giving me a little trouble. Give me a second. Uh, it's like an eyelash or something. I don't know. Huh. Anyway. That's all done. We dealt with that rather quickly. <laughs> now I'm getting back in my groove. They managed to kill me once. Now I kill a bunch of them. They don't realize that's how it works. At least not, you know, at least not yet they don't realize that's how it works. Uh, oh, there is a... Oh, there is a captain. Falgoom! Hey, buddy, you drunk bastard. How you doing? I killed your rival. Is that good enough for you? Unless your rival's still alive, in which case I'm wondering what the fuck. But, uh... Let's go and have fun with him a little bit, huh? Have fun with him until he runs away. I'm not entirely sure if I remember his weaknesses. And his strengths as well. So he can... He's invulnerable to ranged and stealth. The only way I can really damage him is combat finishers and mounted beasts. Alright, well... Let's see if I can get one of those going. Well, speak of the devil, there is a mounted beast right over here. And let's see if I can get this guy. Yep, there we go. There's this. There we go. Alrighty. I'll let the mounted beast have a little fun. And I'll kill a lot of his gang here. There we go. And there we go. And there we are. There we go. Good stuff. I have enough arrows to take out the beast, should it start making mince meat out of him. And there we go. Alrighty. Okay, let's just kill this guy. He's getting in the way. Whoop. Okay. Alrighty. Oh. Okay, now he's... Okay. There we go. And now he's retreating. This time, but you lose next time. Eloquent of you there, but <laughs> Very eloquent. Oh, jeez. I almost went badly. I almost felt bad because I almost killed him. And I didn't need to. I just went to fuck with him a little bit. But it ended up working in my favor. He has been fucked with, and my day is now... <laughs> my day is now perked up. Oh, boy. All right, let's... See if I can get a drain off of this guy. Maybe. If I sneak up on him. And there we are. And... Utilize him a little bit. There we go. Hey, buddy. You gonna run? <laughs> you're gonna run, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna run. Let's just get this on. There we go. And brutalize him a little bit. And there we go. Thanks. Make sure he doesn't, you know, come back. You're welcome. Not a problem at all. Alright, what do we got around me? Nothing. Nothing really. Nothing above, nothing below. Just a whole bunch of shit. Alrighty. We, we did pretty good. I think we're getting our revenge back. It's time for my revenge. And that shall be sweet. Alright. What do we got over here? Who threw the Black Gates trial by ordeal? Huh. Well, I mean... If I interfere too much, it might end up helping him. But at the same time, I kind of want to. Because it's going to, you know, eventually make it so it's useful for me to kill him. He's like at, what, 15 right now? He's still vulnerable to stealth finishers. I can always get him with that. And he's going to be afraid of burning in more guy flies for a long time, I'm sure. So, basically anything else I can just throw at him. So, I'm going to go over there and do that. But first I want to drop an ability point into something. I'm not entirely sure what I can drop it in. I got the double charge, so I can do two of those in one go. So, what's the next one, then? Um, I'm not really good with that, so... 
flames of vengeance striking with a glowing sword will deal double damage. That would be nice. That'd be very nice. But it'd also make it impossible for me to eventually build up more meter afterwards. Uh, don't know why my phone was beeping. That's probably my alarm set for something else. Okay, um, quick draw. That one seems much more useful and helpful for me in the long term. Especially when I have limited focus and I need to get an arrow off as quickly as possible. Absolutely. We'll get that one. And there we go. Alright. Uh, there's a they thing up here. A good job the yeah, we'll leave that alone for now. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was over there, so... Uh, should I fast travel? Yeah, it's fast travel. It's gonna take a lot less time. There we go. Plus gives me a chance to drink my coffee. <laughs> which is really important right now. Trial by ordeal now available. Which, is it a new one or is it just this guy? It says new, so. Oh, they're both over there. Lamlog Drooler. Ugh. 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 Okay. And, uh, then the duel, which is right next to it. I could possibly do both at the same time once I end up over there. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this one first. But, uh, oh, I'm a little over time. I, uh, think I might, I think I might end the episode here for right now. Uh, we're gonna, wait, first I should probably make my way over there. Oh, if we end up over here, I could use that fire. <laughs> I could use that fire to fuck with them. Oh, that'd be great. All right. And perfect. There we go. Uh, uh, come on. Let me... There we go. Oh, oh shit. That was almost bad. And now it's done. There we go. Good shit. All right. Just, there we go. All right, now I'll end the episode because now I got it all set up for the next one. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and beating the fuck out of Uruks to get revenge for you.